Blockchain crypto and Web3 developers continue to build out their ecosystems in 2022, even in the face of a brutal crypto winter, according to a recent report from crypto venture capital firm Electric Capital. And joining us now from Electric Capital is partner Maria Shen. Maria, great to have you. So maybe you can go through and walk us through some of the key takeaways and highlights from this report. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to. Thanks for having me. Um, one of the key things that we found is that despite prices going down uh, more than 70% from peak, uh, developers are incredibly sticky. And so right now we're at 23,343 monthly active developers. One important caveat here is that we only count open source. Um, so who builds in closed source? Uh, Coinbase builds in closed source, a lot of gaming developers build in closed source, big companies, big crypto companies like Alchemy, um, Binance all work in closed source. And so one of the things we do here is only focus on open source developers. Um, of course, to crypto, open source is some of the lifeblood of what's driving progress. Bitcoin, of course, started as open source. Um, and what's amazing to see is that even though prices are back to January 2018 levels, um, roughly by the end of December of last year, developers are actually up 297%. Um, and so what we're seeing is every single time there, um, there is this price drop, uh, developers tend to continue to stay and build. And um, year over year, we're actually up 5% in terms of the number of monthly active developers. All right. Your report also found that major ecosystems are emerging beyond Bitcoin and Ethereum. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, what we've seen is that around 28% of all monthly active developers work inside the Bitcoin and Ethereum ecosystems. By far, um, Ethereum is the biggest ecosystem for developers in crypto. It's 2.8 uh, X bigger than the next biggest ecosystem. That being said, um, that does mean that 72% of monthly active developers are working outside of Bitcoin and ETH, and especially 50% of all developers work in the top 200 by network value. Um, so this is the top 200 uh, projects um, by their market caps. 50% uh, of all developers are working in those projects. So how do previous crypto winters compare to the one we're in currently for developers? Are we seeing more developers or how does it how does it compare? Yeah, we have dramatically more developers. Um, so again, you know, we're back to prices from in 2018, but uh, since 2018, we are up close to 300% in terms of the number of monthly active developers. These are developers who are actively committing code, um, pushing open source code in crypto. As you can see in this chart, um, from peak, we're down 71% for, for prices, but um, we had an all-time high in terms of the number of developers in 2022. Um, in June of Last year, 26, over 26,000 developers, monthly active developers worked in crypto. From that peak, we we're only down 11%. And so considering how far prices have gone down, um, it's, it's quite remarkable how sticky developers are. It's interesting in crypto winters, that's when they say it's the time to build. And when you get rid of the hype cycle, you know, it's the true projects that are left. So what's your outlook for the crypto developer community and the crypto ecosystem at large? Yeah, I think, um, you know, what you said is exactly right. We're probably going to be seeing a decrease in the number of net new developers. And so this is developers coming into this space in 2022 and in 2021, we saw an all time high in terms of number of new developers. I would expect that the number of new developers would decrease um, as prices decrease just because fewer people are picking them. But that being said, one of the most important uh, metrics that we track here is full time developers. So these are developers meeting code 10 or more days in a 20 day period. And key developer tools to bring in new developers. Um, they're the ones keeping the lights on, pushing everything forward. And I would fully expect full-time developers to continue to, um, to chug along here. That's what we've seen historically in bear markets. And so far, that's proven to be true. Full-time developers are up 8% year over year. Um, and I think that's, that's the most important metric to track right now is how retentive uh, full-time developers continue to be.